You might be wondering how to change the Pure Zone UVC lamp in your Vortex Avante Spa. This video shows you how. Hi, I'm Jay from Spa World, and if you own a Vortex Avante Spa or Swim Spa, it will have the Pure Zone UVC sterilizer system. And Vortex recommends that you change that UVC lamp every two years to keep it run effectively. We also recommend that you change the globe at the same time. In this video, we'll cover these three things. First of all, we'll talk about removing the cabinet panel from the spa to access the UVC system. Then we'll talk about removing the UVC lamp and sheath, and then we'll put it all back together again. So the Pure Zone system uh, resides in your spa, and that can be found by locating the touchpad and the UVC sterilizer is underneath that section of your spa. This is the same with swim spas. Okay, so we're getting ready to do the first part of this job, which is to um, remove the cabinet, but there's a couple things we need to think about first. So the first thing is tools required. The tools required for this job are a cordless drill and either an adjustable spanner and crest wrench or a pair of pliers. Safety considerations for this job are going to be to turn off the power for your spa Anytime you open up the cabinet, you want to do that first. The other safety consideration is when you remove the screws, the cabinet panel will drop out. So you want to make sure that your fingers don't get pinched underneath of it, but we always suggest to use two people. Okay, so now to access underneath the cabinet to get to the UVC system, we're going to remove the screws. Uh, there's quite a few screws in one of these cabinets and you just want to go nice and slow as you remove the screws so as to not round the heads. Okay, so I've removed all the screws from the cabinet and I've got the cabinet panel here, but you'll notice that there's lighting, uh, this health indicator light and also cabinet lights on this panel. And so I'm gonna have to unhook the wires coming to those so that I can take the panel all the way out. And I'll show you how to do that now. Take note of where the lights go on the cabinet, um, on the health light. This connector can only go together one way, so you don't really have to worry about it. It's got a flat spot when you go to put it back together. Okay, so I've removed the panel from the spa and I've disconnected the lights and now I'm just going to move the panel out of the way so I can access the uh, underneath of the spa shell. You want to close the valves on either side of the UV sanitizer. One of those is right near the uh, suction pump which is here and they're a, a simple gate valve and then the other valve is on the other side of the UV sanitizer and you want to close both these valves and I'll show you how to do that now. So first we remove the safety bar. You then push the valve down, the valve handle down, all the way into the groove and turn it clockwise. That valve is now shut and I would then go shut the other valve. There's still gonna be a small amount of water in the UV tube and in the plumbing. So it's a good idea to have a towel nearby so that you can put that in there to soak up the water when you open up the UV sanitizer. Okay, so I pulled the entire UVC system out of this spa. You'll never have to do this. I've only done it so that you can see uh, the parts that we mentioned in this video. So this is the UV tube itself. These are the connectors that connect it to the plumbing. Uh, back here is the cord grip or gland. This connector right here is what holds the sheath in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart just as though I was gonna change out the lamp right now. So I would re remove the cord grip or loosen it and start pulling it out of the system. So now I'm gonna pull out the lamp. So that is the UV lamp. Now disconnect this. So I just pull on it nice and gentle. Then to get to the sheath that protects the lamp from the water, I'm gonna remove this gland. The quartz sheath is spring-loaded and under tension. So I pull it out, you'll see there's an O-ring. That's what seals the water out from getting into the lamp and the connection. Now, if at any point when I'm pulling out the lamp, I see corrosion here or on the pins or I get water, I know that there's a problem with the O-ring and I'll need to replace those. I always have one of these on hand anyway. Um, when I order a tube, if I don't have one, I would order, when I order the lamp, sorry, I would order this quartz sheath with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna reassemble this. Once again, you'll never have to pull this tube out of your spa. I'm just doing it here to, so that it makes it easier for you to see what's happening. The first thing I need to do is put the quartz tube back into this, into the stainless steel tube. 
Uh, this will have an O-ring around it. I need to make sure the O-ring is on there. So I'm going to now push the quartz down in it. Inside here is a little circle and a spring. And you can see as I push that down, it will come up against the spring. And so if I'm off to the side, I can't push it down in any further and I don't wanna force it. I wanna make sure that I find the exact spot with the circle and the spring so that that goes in, it should be just like that. Uh, now I'm gonna put this on. Uh, this needs to be free of any burrs or any debris inside. We don't wanna crack this tube. So I'm now gonna push this down in and I'm just gonna gently tighten this. It can be hand tight, but I often use a pair of uh, channel locks or pliers just to tighten it a little bit further. Uh, it just needs to compress the O-ring. Now I'm gonna put the lamp in. Again, I don't wanna touch the actual glass part of the lamp. I'm out at the porcelain part here. I can actually connect it up to the um, fitting first if I want to. So I'm gonna do that now. And you can see that these two are set like that. So I'm gonna connect. Um, it's a great idea to have a little piece of paper towel or a glove if you do need to touch the lamp to make it easier for you. Uh, now I'm just gonna push that inside the globe. And then I'm going to fasten up the gland or cord grip. This only needs to be hand tight. All right, so we've replaced the lamp, we've replaced the sheath, and now the really important thing to do is to open the valves back up to let water into the system. So I'm gonna twist the T-handle that I closed earlier, and you can see it coming up, and then I'm gonna put the safety bar back in place. Great job, now you've completed changing out the lamp in your UV sanitizer. So now all I have to do is put the cabinet back on, but first I need to reconnect the lights. So I'm gonna do that now. So hopefully this short video has helped you understand everything you need to know about maintaining the UVC system in your spa. All of the parts that we showed in this video can be purchased from spastore.com.au or spastore.co.nz. Thanks for watching.